we're going to take a look at the newspaper headlines, delving to some of the some of the top stories. And in fact, we've seen that the Sunday Times is reporting that the Zondo Commission is probing the finances of EFF leader Julius Malema and his deputy Floyd Chibambu. Well, the Commission has subpoenaed banks to provide the bank records of companies linked to Malema and Chivambo, where just like the, last week, in fact, the Commission asked for the same information relating to former President Jacob Zuma and his family. But to help make sense of these developments, we are now joined by our politics edis, editor, Spoon Gawa. A very good morning, Spoon. Thanks for joining us once again. I mean, ultimately, we want to know why would the uh, Zondo want Malema's records? I mean, what could the Commission possibly be looking for at this point? Well, uh, good morning, Lisa. For now, we, all we know is that uh, they are acting on information from a whistleblower. Um, that's where, and then also you would know that ordinarily, in fact, originally, all of us would have thought that all the investigations that have to do with state capture were related to the uh, going on that related to the Gupta family and state-owned enterprises. But I think that the Zondo Commission is making an important point that state capture is not necessarily linked to Gupta link is not necessarily linked to Gupta related corruption, but also any co corruption which involves where you have the flow of public funds which are moved uh, into private hands questionably or illegally. So it relates to all of that. But in the case of Julius Malema, as I said, we do not have um, that information. It's not the same case uh, as we saw with President Zuma last week because we know that with President Zuma, all the questions that are being asked are linked to monies that would have flowed from the state around the same time um, that the Guptas were pretty much uh, in charge of, the, of our state and was also in charge of our state-owned enterprises. But um, Julius Malema has said that um, he has nothing to hide. Uh, as you would recall, Lisa, we sat down, um, he had an interview with our Colin Gambi um, on, uh, on, on, on Thursday, just a day before he went out to Senegal, and Colin asked him that question. I think that, Lisa, I would want us to play that bite um, from earlier on in the week before we continue um, with this conversation. I will not even go with a lawyer. I will go alone. Mm. We fought for that commission. When Zuma tried to prevent it, remember, we are the one who went to court and said, this report must be released. When the report was released, we said, it must be enforced and this commission must uh, take place. But, but since we are talking corruption, right, all the scandals of corruption, all of them, all of them, not a single one has got an EFF. In Mutaung report, which is the report of VBS, by the way, there is no EFF or EFF leader. In, no, no, you can want to jump anyhow you want because the rest, I can tell you, they are leaders, not their younger brothers or wives or children. They are themselves there. Their names are there. <laughs> VBS, Zondo Commission, uh, Prasa, uh, any scandal that you know of corruption in South Africa, all corruption scandals in South Africa, I want to repeat, not a single one of that uh, uh, scandal involves the EFF or any of the EFF leaders. But we are being projected as the most corrupt because the establishment doesn't like our politics. I'm saying, and I say this without any fear of contradiction, we are cruising nicely. Right, Spoo, on the back of uh, obviously what Julius Malema said to Polly this week, um, Malema and his associates, in fact, are under the Zondo microscope. Uh, Malema, you know, being quoted as saying and telling the Sunday Times that he was not aware of the subpoenas for his bank records or those of his wife and his grandmother, saying that he doesn't have anything to hide as well. I mean, what ultimately has been alluded to through this headline as we further unpack this? I think the, 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 that uh, quote um, and that uh, comment that he made during the interview actually was very timely, and I think that it will be quoted going forward, and I would, it would be interesting to see if uh, Julius Malema sticks to his word. He told Colin Gambi that he would not even take lawyers to the Zondo Commission because he has nothing to hide. And now, just going back briefly, Carissa, when he talks about the Mutawa report, obviously, that's the report that looked into the great heist, the 2.3 billion rand that was stolen from VBS. Obviously, and, and he's right when he says that that report does not 
uh, say anything about the EFF and its leaders. But what he's not saying is the fact that there was subsequent um, investigative journalism done by the Daily Maverick, Scorpio in particular, which found that some of the money from VBS not the 2.3 billion, about up to a, a, an upper limit of 16 million that would have found its way to the EFF or its associates. And there was one person who was pointed out there being um, Floyd Chivambu's brother, Brian, and his companies and how the, some of that money ended up buying things like Range Rover Sports for Floyd Chivambu. So we may not know for now what the commission is looking at, but what we know for a fact is that there have been questions around some money which would have flowed to companies linked to the EFF and some of its leaders. It might be that these are the companies that the commission is targeting. No, Spood, speaking of the commission, I mean, on Friday, we saw that the statement from former President Jacob Zuma, in fact, warning, um, you know, the commission to leave his family alone, accusing it of targeting him as well. What do you think former President Jacob Zuma will do next? Look, I think the, the, the statement actually plays into the age-old uh, Zuma narrative where he projects himself as the perpetual victim. I mean, uh, if you look at his statement, it was quite an emotional statement where now he pre presents, he actually um, paints the picture of, or, or creates the impression that not only is he a victim of a political conspiracy, but also that his children and his family is being dragged into it. Uh, at face value, you can contrast it to the same um, information that's been asked of Julius Malema, where they even sub asked for information relating to his late grandmother's estate. Um, so you contrast the two responses here. So I don't think, for me, the response by President Zuma is, 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 is unexpected, but I think he's been always been spoiling for a fight with the Zondo Commission. Remember that President Zuma has already been subpoenaed by the commission to appear on the 16th uh, of November, and that relate, and also you know that he has also be making an application to the commission. His lawyers have said that they will be asking Zondo to recuse himself because they are accusing Zondo of being biased. So my view is that this is a fight that will drag on um, in the courts and actually might have implications for the Zondo commission as it has to conclude its work. Spoo, the commission has been dubbed as a costly and timely affair. And I mean, we do understand that it's been extended until March 2021. But in view of all of this and ultimately what has been unearthed, does the commission have enough time to go through all this evidence? Well, uh, you, as you are saying, uh, uh, Lisa, we know that in February this year, the uh, commission was granted a 13-month um, extension up to the end of, of March. Mm -hmm. Now, if they are still looking at appearing pouring, pouring through um, information and records. And if you look at the time now, and also given the fact that someone like uh, President Zuma is not going to go to the uh, uh, commission without uh, a fight, uh, the reality is that it does look like the commission might probably have to um, uh, conclude some of its work without having um, all the information that it has. Because the court, the North Gauteng, when it asked for an extension from the North Gauteng High Court, they were told that they could, initially they were looking for 10 months, and the court says, no, you can take 13 months up to the 31st of March 2021 and no further, which means that whatever that the commission is doing, it has to conclude by then. But I do think that because there were changes to the um, um, regulations of the commission, uh, because now it can work directly with law enforcement agencies, it can, I do not see anything precluding the commission um, from handing over some of the information or some of its investigations to law enforcement agencies, because already there is already that cooperation that is in place. So I do think that whether some of that information ends up in the final report or not, um, if the commission has enough evidence which points to possible corruption or fraud or crime being committed, then they have the they are allowed by the law to hand that information to law enforcement agencies. All right, Spungo, it's always an absolute pleasure having you here on Weekend Dawn. Again, the Sunday Times reporting that the Zondo Commission is probing finances of EFF leader Julius Malema and his deputy Floyd Shivambo, where the commission has subpoenaed banks to provide the bank records of companies linked to Malema and Shivambo. Last week, we heard the commission asking for the very same information relating to former President Jacob Zuma and his family. Again, these developments were unpacked by our politics editor, Spungawa.